popular what if story in the Dragon Ball community is what if Goku never hit his head? There are a ton of stories about what could have happened if Goku was evil. When Raditz first shows up, he explains that Goku was originally supposed to wipe out everyone on Earth, but obviously that didn't happen. If he did, however, he likely would have went with Raditz like he was supposed to. This story is another piece from Dragon Ball Multiverse and takes place in an alternate timeline. Raditz is on his way to Earth to retrieve Goku and confirm that he's finished his mission. There are only two survivors at this point being Tien and Yamcha as they arrive at the last city Goku has destroyed. All of the other Z fighters have been killed as well because since Goku didn't hit his head, he retained his natural violent fighting instincts and was able to overcome everyone, including Kami, so the Dragon Balls are gone as well. When Raditz arrives, he seems pretty impressed with the planet. Tien and Yamcha immediately sense his huge power level and rush straight towards him. Raditz senses the two survivors right away, surprised that Goku actually let someone slip away from him, he decides to finish them himself. The fight begins and Tien and Yamcha are actually holding their own. In this timeline, they're much stronger than they originally were because they've been avoiding Goku their whole lives instead of befriending him. They become so strong that they eventually gain the upper hand over Raditz. We then cut to see Goku who is questioning why he's always alone. Since Goku has killed everyone on Earth, he hasn't had much human interaction so he shows many psychopathic tendencies. The only beings he's ever befriended are the forest animals and even then he eventually kills them with his bare hands too. Goku senses Tien and Yamcha's power levels and rushes off to attack them. When we get back to the fight, Raditz has killed Tien because he exhausted all of his energy with too many tri-beam attacks. Yamcha attempts to flee but runs directly into Goku. Having not learned any martial arts, Goku doesn't exactly have a clean fighting style as he has no problem biting Yamcha as a cheap shot. After tossing Yamcha around a bit more, Goku goes in for the kill but Raditz beats him to it. This actually angers Goku as he starts to attack Raditz as well. Living a life of solitude, we see Goku's true Saiyan combat instincts kick in as he goes for cheap shots and even fires energy beams out of his mouth which he's never been known to do before. This however isn't enough to defeat a soldier as well trained as Raditz so he knocks Goku out. Raditz states that the loneliness he has lived every day until now has devastated him mentally. Having annihilated all life on earth, the two Saiyans leave to go back to planet Frieza. When they arrive, Raditz has Goku checked out by a doctor. Living a life solely trying to destroy the humans has caused Goku to develop several mental disorders. The doctor says that Goku is mentally strong though and that he should be able to recover soon but Raditz should speak to him and spend time with him every day to help cure his issue with loneliness. After Goku is released, he still suffers from his murderous tendencies and acts like a complete beast. Raditz tries his best to train him but it's clear Goku has a long way to go. A while passes and Goku has actually improved tremendously. Raditz contacts Vegeta and Nappa to inform them that Goku is ready to join them so that they can go conquer their next planet. Goku, however, doesn't feel like they need to wait for them so he tries to talk Raditz into going alone with them. Unfortunately, Raditz doesn't see him as strong enough to conquer a planet as dangerous as this with just Goku alone but Goku has been hiding his true power. Raditz has no idea how to do this so Goku offers to teach him everything that he has learned on earth up until this point in return for everything that Raditz has learned. In 6 months they plan to go conquer the planet on their own and at some point during their training, Raditz teaches Goku about the Uzaru transformation. This type of power up intrigues Goku and he says that they should use it when they conquer the planet but Raditz tells them that this planet doesn't have a moon so it wouldn't work. Goku figures out that all they really need is the strange light from the moon and that would work fine so they get a Blitzwave device made. One month later, they arrive on planet Heliore and this is a planet with technological advancements we've never seen before. As soon as Goku and Raditz land, the war begins and the fight lasts for days. The two Saiyans take on their Uzaro forms and begin to dominate but at the end of it all everyone is dead and they're both exhausted. A lone soldier has survived though and he aims a beam in order to finish off Goku and Raditz. But that's when a boot crushes his head and this is how Goku and Raditz meet Nappa and Vegeta. That's gonna be it for this one guys, let me know what you think down below and if you enjoyed it. Also leave video ideas of what you would like to see next down in the comment section as well. Have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.